one pill fits all is not the case when doctors prescribe a drug use to prevent blood clots. Sometimes it can take several months to figure out the dose of warfarin that works best in certain people. Warfarin has a very narrow therapeutic index, so too little anticoagulation and you're not protected from clots. Too high the level of anticoagulation and you have a higher risk of bleeding. Genetic factors can help doctors prescribe the right dose for most patients, but not all. Now a team of researchers led by the University of Florida have uncovered more genetic details that can help determine the best dosage of warfarin in African Americans. Warfarin, also known as Coumadin, is challenging to prescribe because doctors must use trial and error to figure out the correct dose of the drug. Researchers discovered a common genetic variant that strongly influences the dose of warfarin needed in African Americans to deliver the blood thinning drug safely and effectively. So by looking exclusively at an African American population, we were able to find a genetic mutation that uh, clinically affected their dose. So if you have the mutation, you require a lower dose of warfarin, and that's very specific to the African American population. Too much or too little of the drug can be life-threatening. A simple blood test can identify someone's genotype at a specific marker, and that can be used to better determine a target warfarin dose. The hope is that by being able to use genetic and other information to identify the likely dose that someone will need, then you can sort of start somewhere closer to the dose that they'll, they'll actually need. And so we shorten that period when they're outside of the therapeutic window. Around 30 million warfarin prescriptions a year in the United States help patients keep blood flowing properly after certain surgical procedures or if they have a history of blood clots. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.